This is Buddhist Books Behind the Scenes. Uh, Behind the Scenes 8, even though the previous Behind the Scenes with a number was probably 3 or 4, but it's the 8th in the Behind the Scenes series. Behind the Snap, or Between the Snaps, came out a few days ago. And I mentioned in Between the Snaps that this new office in South Goa was still total chaos. And now it's organized chaos. Uh, this part here is mostly just chaos. The books are all just kind of shoved in there um, in the second wave of, you know, setting everything up. Then I'm going to organize things better. Here, the top shelf is kind of organized. I don't even know if the Vedas are in order. Um, but there's still some books that need to be worked in there. The desk is looking all right, passable for now. Here we've got uh, Amitabha here in the west. And uh, putting myself on the spot here, Akshobhya in the north. And, uh, oh no, that's Amoga City in the north. Akshobhya here in the east. And in the south, Ratna Sambhava, for those who are into the Dayani Buddhas, they're all in their appropriate places. Lakshmi, hanging out. Um, candles, Ganga water, that's Ganges for the... Um, so the incense is partly here. These are a bunch of like weird, weird, weird kinds of frankincense. I mean, like, kind of oddly disturbing. Like, they don't smell, they smell weird. But I mean, I like it, kind of, in an abstract. So, this looks chaotic, but it took me a while to get everything to fit. This is all my incense, aside from what's in there, obviously. Um, these are my oils, with the rose cross oil a spe special prominence and then here we have a little bit of a yod hay vav hay thing going but ironically the fire is in the final hay maybe that means something i don't don't really know um we've got the sort of the christianity corner but the rose there too get it the rose there too yeah kind of like that but anyway um some more incense stuff and then we've got some of my ancestors here and the little american flag with a real bit so they used to make dollars and break them in eight pieces and each of the eight pieces were a bit which is where the bits in bytes come from for the people who are in into binary code so two bits means a quarter um so these are like yeah so this is kind of the america corner these are my grandpa used to make these little uh model trains and these are watches from various ancestors so that's that's what what's going on here but as you can see in the general picture this genetic inheritance is kind of pushed off to the side, but still, you know, given honor, ancestor, respect, what have you. Um, see, we've got the 80s culmination of all that. Um, and the, But then Bhagavad Gita, kind of a nice bridge. The, uh, the Oppenheimer, you know, speech about watching the nuclear bomb go off. And then on the other hand, just the Bhagavad Gita and Hinduism, and Hinduism kind of leaking over here. She used to have a candle. Anyway, um, so Ganesh, Hanuman, Yantra, little pyramid. And um, then here's kind of like, then there's these hidden axes, like these from different angles, things are happening. So here from this angle, if you take this as a central line, and it is kind of the center of the table, 
Then you've got Shiva, and then you've got Lakshmi and Ganesh, Krishna. He he has like plates and a cup, and they're still kind of missing. I'm searching for those. And then this is sort of like this is a two-headed quarter. See, heads on both sides. So that plus the dice plus the malachite are a reference to um, this. You can click there and learn all about um, the interdimensional coffee house, uh, the multiverse cartographer. So that's kind of a personal, a personal religion, you could say, at the where it all comes together in, in a V, drawing from everything from this, 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 and this, as well as this other stuff we haven't gotten to yet. Um, here we have Ganga herself, the goddess of the river Ganga, and a crocodile, um, I forget his name. And then, so he, there's another couple of kind of access points. Um, basically, if you look from this perspective here, then this is the line going from the eight auspicious symbols to Mahabodhi, to Lord Buddha, just to the left of Parshvanath, right? So Parshvanath is just to the right of that line. And then um, that's Mahavir, again, to the right of that line. Here we have Adi Buddha and Baby Buddha. So this line is where the Buddhism in India is present. And then, so this is, you know, Hanuman, non-Buddhist non India, right? Shiva. He's got a special dispensation to be out of order because he's Ratnasa Baba, he belongs in the south. So he's not looking at an angle. Well, generally the ones up here aren't, but she is. Um, so yeah, so here we have uh, Vishnu, uh, Shivaji, not to be confused with Shiva. Shiva again, Kali Ma, here as well, about the incense. And uh, this is uh, a native of uh, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. And I've forgotten the name of their god. They're monotheistic animists. Um, and India, well, uh, a king in Tamil built a naval base on their island a thousand years ago. And then a bunch of history happened. And then in 1959, those islands were again uh, put under the care of the Republic of India. I say again because it was India back then, basically, that uh, began the um, displacing of the, of the native people of those islands. So I have him represented, representing the god of those islands, but the god of those islands is not in human form, except on my shrine. So that's the god of those islands. Um, this is Der Durga. I won't try to pronounce things anymore, I promise. Um, okay, so moving over here, here we have another Ratnasambhava in line with this Ratnasambhava. So the yellow Dayani, right? We have a couple of Taras, both green. And then we've got a, uh, a something, but just between you and me, this is secretly showing support not only for free Tibet, but for dun 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 the tongue man himself um comment below with your thoughts on that and because you know engagement drives the algorithm to, never mind uh so this is mahakala and uh this is maitreya buddha that's a train in the background this is wild tara or so the Punjabi Muslims who sold it to me said, um, I'm not really sure who that is actually, 
but they said that because the dog is in that style, that it's definitely Tibetan and therefore Buddhist. Um, anyway, there she is. And there's Amitabha Buddha. I'm almost 100% sure though, uh, the Sikh family that sold it to me in Darjeeling um, said it was Medicine Buddha. This, from what I understand, is Buddha, actual Siddhartha Gautama, though it could be Amitabha, but I'm just gonna, I've decided, I decided when I got him that that's Siddhartha Gautama, so that's just how it is. There's White Tara hiding. I don't know if that's the best, best spot for her. Maybe she needs privacy. Um, this is somebody, I don't know. That's uh, Vajrayogini and uh, Naga Kanya, Lord Buddha, of course, and a couple more Mahakals, the tortoise of the calendar year. This is Maya Devi, I think. She's the mother of Buddha. And then a uh, ritual dagger, Furba, and the prayer wheel. So there you have it. Um, it's organized. I mean, it looks like it could be chaos, like at first glance, but it's actually very well thought out. Here we have the game that I'm playing with my friend Chris in California that I will surely lose. Um, I know I should have more confidence, but we've played 18 of these in the past like four years, and I think I won one of them. And that's when his four-year-old son was making most of the decisions. Um, here's my books in the corner there. And of course, the Buddhist books shelf. And here's a little bit of chaos, just a little bit of chaos thrown in the mix. This, this needs work. And uh, that's just storage up there. And uh, yeah, Maya Devi again, looking down upon me as I sit at my desk. Okay. So uh, just for the people who were interested, wanted to update you on the progress of settling into the new office. Still no Kakejiku hanging here or here, and no Tonka here. But the Kakejikus are here, ready to go up. And there's a little marking here, a more obvious marking there from where I tried to put the nail in myself. I'm not a total invalid, it's uh, stone, so it's like the nail wouldn't go in. And that, so there needs to be a screw or a nail here and here, and then another one there, and then I can hang everything and it'll be our familiar backdrop for Buddhist books podcast, as well as Esoteric Nerd, Multiverse Cartographer, and everything else I've got going on. So that's all out of me for now. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, there's you and I when we were in Thailand in 2019. The periodic table of the elements with a prism there. So I'm kind of kind of got the science uh, shrine happening a little bit here in the center of the workspace with the computer, upon which I shall now continue to watch Gotham. All right. Um, Peace out, yo, and uh, until next time.